Hello and welcome back or welcome to an episode of Reach Your Happy with Laura. I am Laura and I am a Reiki coach here to help you understand yourself and your journey a little bit more clearly. I know when I was going through my spiritual shifts and awakenings, I felt very alone. So I am here to be your friend, to be your comrade, to walk you through, to walk alongside you through this journey. So today's message I'm going to be talking about is how do you know that you are growing? How do you know that you're spiritually growing, mentally growing, emotionally maturing? Because unlike the physical, those things are not tangible. Eventually, they do translate into shifts in your outer world where you're seeing a difference in your relationships, in your work, in your finances, in your living conditions. Stuff starts to change externally, but the internal change is a lot more subtle. So how do you know that you are going through some sort of spiritual shift, spiritual awakening? And it sounds counterintuitive, but if you're going through some sort of shift, it will create disruption in your everyday. It will look perhaps a little like more agitation, more uh, issues with a partner, more confrontation just in general. You may even notice stuff like, I used to really like this food, or I really used to like to wear this, or to go here, or to drink that, and you're noticing that that stuff just doesn't feel like it used to. And that can create this inner turmoil because our brain wants familiar. Our nervous system likes familiar, even if that familiar is hellish. We still would prefer that over the unknown, which is pretty crazy. Um, but that's the truth of it. So you usually will start to have this little bit of an internal crisis where you're wondering what the heck is wrong with you? Why am I getting agitated? I've talked to this person 10,000 times and right now I can barely stand to be in the same room as them. Um, other things like food sensitivities could come up. You may get more sensitive to general things like light or social media. And you kind of feel like you're going a little bit crazy. That is a signal, can be a signal. Now this is not in replacement of medical help, of course, but that can all be a signal that something deep is churning up and you are stepping from the very familiar into the unknown. And the unknown has a lot of promise, but because our nervous systems are wired to prefer familiar, even if that familiar is hellish, when we start to shift gears a little bit and make different choices, our nervous system almost has an inflammatory response. So you may have a lot more anxious thoughts, anxious activity in your mind. You may just feel more agitated, like physically it's hard to sit still. All of these are symptoms of a spiritual shift, awakening, an emotional, uh, almost broadening, like you have a deeper awareness of yourself and therefore the world around you. So if you're noticing any of these symptoms, there are many things you can do, but I like to keep it really simple. So simplicity is something that we can recreate again and again when we have really complex solutions to um, a problem we're having that can create more stress so simple things like making sure you're getting enough rest making sure you're getting sunlight every single day you're up on your vitamins especially vitamin d if you're in new england it is getting cold and super dark and um not just in new england i know the time change for most people um so those simple things also movement every day movement as medicine because movement helps your body process things helps your nervous system feel more supported so keeping it simple there now maybe you're doing all those things so it's like okay what do i do now because i'm still feeling like i want to leave my life like nothing fits me 
my clothing just doesn't resonate anymore. Um, my friend groups aren't really jiving with me anymore. I'm feeling completely alone and like no one's really understanding me. So there are other steps to take like therapy, like getting some sort of support, you know, having conversation, some acknowledgement of what you're going through can be really helpful. But again, just the awareness alone that I am going through an internal shift and this internal shift, though it feels like the best thing for me to be doing, can still create this feeling of chaos within. And so we seek order outside of us. So we're looking for familiar faces and familiar drinks, familiar foods, familiar actions to feel the same and they don't. Again, it feels like you're going crazy. You are not going crazy. This is just a symptom of an internal shift happening. So with bringing your awareness to this, like, yeah, you know what? I have been making different choices. I have been talking or reading or thinking about boundaries. I have been trying to meditate more or I'm trying to be more present or, you know, it is the smallest little shift that can change and disrupt everything. And I don't share that to scare you because there is nothing to fear here. The unknown is what we're actually constantly existing in. We just forget that every single day. We have this idea of how the day is gonna plan out. We have this idea of who's going to still exist on this planet with us day after day after day, and that stuff does change. Our jobs change, our relationships change, pets or people in our lives circulate. So there is so much more unknown than there is known. So when you're going through an internal shift like this, it's very normal to really try to grasp onto anything familiar. But if you can bring that awareness in and acknowledge that I am going through an internal shift, I have been trying to be more present with how I'm feeling or I have been trying to set better boundaries. By shining a light on that, you will highlight the other aspects that are feeling a little inflamed right now. And all that is is a little signal of, hey, this needs some recalibration as well. But it's not important or necessary to try to take care of everything all at once. We wanna take any shift we're going through in stride, right? So many times people change something, like say you start exercising, you're like, all right, I'm gonna change my diet, I'm gonna change my exercise, I'm gonna change my clothes, I'm gonna change, and it's like too much at once overloads the nervous system and it tends to make us freeze. That's a very common response. Um, or fight, flight, you know, all these different nervous system reactions. Again, all very normal. So I advise you, if you're going through an internal shift, try to keep stuff as orderly as possible. Literally make your bed, clean your kitchen, clean your bathroom, create a safe environment within your home as best you can that allows you to know something because the discomfort that can come along with an internal shift can cause such a disturbance that again, we just wanna run from the situation and we wanna shut it down and never make a shift again. And in, the whole reason you're called towards a shift is because there is something calling you that says life could be a little bit better. Perhaps you could feel a little bit better. You could be doing things that you feel more lit up about. You're seeing other people being passionate about their work and there's something in you that's like, I want that too. So there is this North Star, if you will, that is pulling you along. So know that that won't go anywhere and that you have every right to take as much time as it takes for you to move through this process. And as you get used to going through internal shifts that eventually translates outwardly into relationships, into your choices, into um, your actions and you know how you're holding yourself in the world, then the outside looks a little different. Now then the outside looks a little different and then there's another shift that starts to occur. And I have actually really made my life out of doing this. I have something arise, whether it's mental, emotional, physical, spiritual in nature, and I 
allow it to exist. I allow it to bring up whatever it is it's trying to show me and allow it to bring up meaning like if you just sit back and, and be the observer of what that feeling is, what those thoughts are, and you're curious, like what is going on here? You will actually get these little tidbits of information that create some sort of story that helps you understand what maybe you're letting go of or what needs acknowledgement or why you have some sort of issue that you have. So it goes really deep and it's really, I find it so fun. It's like I'm on a constant treasure hunt, but I'm not like, I need the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. It's like, ooh, this is really cool. Let me look at this, wow. And then something starts to pull me over this way and I start walking and I'm like, okay, I'll put that in my pocket. That's still shifting. Okay, something else to look at. Oh, so interesting. And these little treasures that come up are often brought up by people in my life. Um, not necessarily like me kind of digging for treasure. It's just when you decide to make your inner world a better place to be life just brings you opportunities to keep enhancing that but it's not all rainbows and sunshine there's a lot of stuff we work through that is quite challenging that there's just a lot of unexpected but i remind myself when i'm in the thick of it this is coming up for me I am here in this place and time with this awareness because my North Star is to be confident in the world, is to be strong in the world, is to feel free in my body and in my life, making deliberate choices in each day and spending my time and my energy, the most valuable resource I have in ways that really suit me and my higher values. So I remind myself of that knowing, I remind myself that this is all for a bigger purpose than what I can see right now. But if this is your first rodeo, trust the turbulence, get support, who you feel drawn to. Maybe you feel drawn to me. I'm available, reachyourhappy.com. Um, or you feel drawn to somebody else. Maybe it's talking to a friend. I just want to remind you, people are going to give you insight from their vantage point, from their personal perspective. So take everything with a grain of salt. And remember, you are not going crazy. There is stuff that's churning up that probably painful, probably really something you pushed off for a certain amount of time because it's been uncomfortable. So the fact that it's uncomfortable does not mean you're doing something wrong. In fact, it means that there's something churning up already. It's almost like it wants to leave you, but the only way to leave you is to first go past your eyesight, go past your heart, go past your mind so that you can process it and take the nugget of wisdom that it has for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, if you like my content, please like and subscribe and pass it on to a friend who maybe is going through a challenging time as well. Thank you, and until next time, take good care. Bye-bye.